about to show you the best build for NBA 2K20, and it's coming right now. What's good? It's your boy Dubs C. Pete, welcome to another NBA 2K video. If this is your first time with the boy Dub CP and you want to know more about NBA 2K and you want to know more about Madden and you want to know more about video games in general, then start right now by caressing that subscribe button and hitting that post notification bell. Turn everything on so you don't miss a thing. Let's jump right into what this video is all about and that's my build for NBA 2K20. Listen, man, it's a lot of speculation going around about what the best builds are gonna be for NBA 2K20. There's a lot of speculation going around about what the attribute system's gonna look like for 2K20. There's a lot of speculation in general, but I got you, man, because no matter what they're gonna present to us, whatever NBA 2K20 throws at us as far as attributes, as far as the rep system, as far as badges, as far as archetypes, I already know what I'm gonna get. I already know what I'm gonna put together, what I'm gonna piece together. And it's pretty much the same thing as my NBA 2K19 mindset. I want to make the best build for my play style. Guys, it's the, it's the same thing every single season. And I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this year is different than last year for me as far as what I intend on doing on the court. Last year, I went with a shooting guard 6'5", shot creating sharpshooter. Sharpshooter was my first archetype. Now, I was, I was like, I was on this build like day one before I even, before the game even dropped. In the prelude, I was like, this is the build and this is where it's at. Now, I should have, looking back on it, I should have probably went ahead and made him a stretch big like that, but I made him what I made him, and he was a shooting guard. The regrets that I have looking back on 2K19. First of all, he was slow. Super slow. I mean, slower than most centers on the game. So that was mistake number one. Number two, his lateral quickness sucked. He was always moving around in quicksand. You can see it while you're looking at me playing the game right now. Number three, he was not consistent from the three point like I thought he would be. So luckily, I equipped that KDG jump shot and made it work. But those were some of the knocks that I had against the build throughout 2K19. Now the positives of the build was I could dribble, I could get out of sticky situations when I needed to. It wasn't the best dribbling situations, but I could still get him in and out of trouble when I needed to. Now when I equipped that KDG, it was wet. So that was great. Great my career build. When it came to the part 6'5", wasn't always the greatest height. And again, my speed limited me, but I was able to finesse, you know what I'm saying, that shot creator part of the build. So that was really good. So that's 2K19 in a nutshell for me and my build, my player build. Let's move forward, you know? So for 2K20, this is my plan, okay? When I'm on the court, I'm gonna pass first. That's my deal, that's my gig, that's what I do. I like to share the rock, share the sugar, you know what I'm saying? I want everybody to eat, you know what I'm saying? Everybody eat on my team. So I'm a pass first type of player. So therefore, on 2K20, my archetype attribute passing is gonna be all the way maxed out, man. So in order to have it all the way maxed out and to have a pass first player, I'm going to be a point guard. Yeah, I'm gonna be a point guard. I'm about to be a point guard for NBA 2K20. So my attributes for passing is gonna be all the way up. I'm gonna unlock all the laser focus badges. I'm gonna unlock the pick and roll, the needle threader, the new badge, all of that stuff, man, because I'm dishing dimes out, you feel me? Call me the March of Dimes because I'm dropping them all the time, you feel me? So. That's gonna be my main thing for my main build is I'm probably gonna go 6'3", 6'4", PG, 
you know what I'm saying, pass first player. Now, don't get me wrong. In order to be able to pass the rock with laser vision, I'm also going to be able to handle the rock. You know what I'm saying? I have to be able to handle that thing. So I'm definitely going to go for my next attribute to be ball handling. So that way I know for a fact I'll have speed and speed with the ball. Because last year I couldn't stand being slow and stuck in mud with a shooting guard. It made no sense. So I hope I will have a little bit of a speed boost by being a point guard in NBA 2K20. And then I gotta be able to shoot. So those are my top three attributes that I'm going after first. Passing, ball handling, and then shooting. Those are my top three attributes that I will boost first in NBA 2K20 on my first build as a point guard pass first. Point guard. I'm going to make multiple builds. Don't get me wrong, but that will be my main focus of 2K20. Pass the rock first, dribble second, and shoot third. So that's where I'm coming at because that's my play style. That's what I want to create in 2K20. Something that resembles how I actually play. Like I play like that in real life. I'm a disher, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, you know, I'm a dime dropper. So that's what I do on the courts in real life. So that's what I'm gonna do on the courts in fake life. Also, I'm gonna be getting deep. I mean deep, super deep into Pro-Am for 2K20. I already set out a tweet. Speaking of which, this is a perfect time to tell you now. Follow me on Twitter, at WCUCP1. Follow me on Twitter. I got plenty of good stuff dropping for you all the time on Twitter, man. Go ahead and catch up with your boy. I got tons of tweets that I'm sending out, polls that I do, giveaways that I do. Don't miss out on my Twitter account. Anyway. I sent out a tweet not too long ago asking for people that play Pro-Am to join my team, dubs or else. Yes, we getting it popping for 2K20. And I actually started the Pro-Am team on Xbox for 2K19 just to get some runs in. I need a couple more people. So if you play on Xbox, go ahead and join, man dubs or else the pro-am is here and 2k20 is my year for pro-am because special announcement alert i'm gonna be trying out for the hornets man i, I, I said it in this clip right here i'm telling y'all if charlotte brings the team i'm on it i guarantee it trying to tell y'all bro if charlotte comes out with a 2k league team bro i'm trying out i told y'all Two years ago in the 2K League, first ever inaugural championship game, that if the Hornets, the Charlotte Hornets, ever got an eSports team, I would try out. Well, I had to put up or shut up. The Hornets Venom eSports team, I gotta do everything in my power to try out, which means I gotta grind on pro round, which means I gotta do the combine, which means I gotta make it to the combine. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I gotta do in order to try out. All you got in this world is your word, man. And my word is bond, son. I definitely want to dive into Pro-Am very, very hard this year. I hope some of y'all watching will come out and try to be on the team with me. I need serious players, serious only. None of that frugazy mess, man. If you trying to grind with the boy on this Pro-Am, go ahead, hit me up down in the comment section. Let me know that you about it. I'm doing it for Xbox and PS4. Yes, I'm programming on both systems this year, man. A lot of people been saying they going back and forth between Xbox and PS4. I'm playing on both. So what's up? Come holler at me. Pro-Am, that's what I'm at this year. Not to mention, you know, I'm still gonna be doing my career in the park. I'm still gonna be doing how-to videos because y'all are going to need all the how-tos you can get. I'm definitely gonna be doing rep videos, jump shot videos that KDG is coming back. I already can feel it. I'm gonna be doing the new jump shot meter videos. All kinds of videos coming and in store for you for NBA 2K20. And you already know it's my year. Yes, sir. We are less than nine days away 
from the NBA 2K20 demo, and I can't wait. I'm going to get up in that bad boy, go ahead and start the build that I was talking about first and foremost, and then I'll venture off into other builds and see how I can fine-tune and tweak this build as it is. But I really am excited for NBA 2K20. The, the possibilities there are limitless, so I can't wait to get on the game, and I can't wait to play with people that are as serious about this program as I am. Again, if you want to be a part of dubs or else, make sure you drop that info down in the comment section. I need your gamer tag so that way we can go ahead and link up. Follow me on Twitter so that way we can DM each other and I can get the specifics. Again, that's Xbox and PS4 Pro-Am team that I'm creating because I'm trying my best to get as close to the Hornets Venom as I possibly can and get drafted this year. You feel me? That's the goal. Let me know what y'all think about the My Player Builder creation station that we're gonna get for the demo on August 21st. Until then, man, keep it popping, keep it lit. Like the video, share the video, Get your boy blown up. You feel me? And I appreciate you so much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed. Smash that like button. Let's get about 100 likes on this video. If you're brand new and you want more NBA 2K content, more Madden content, anything about games in general, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the noti bell for all the goodness. I'm out here to do one thing and one thing only. I'm out here and I'm trying to blow up.